welcome back everybody. It's Easy here. Easy Street Gaming. Back in GB Elite on our Too Easy Road Trip thing, whatever this is. Uh, getting ready for this big war on Friday between the two clans, between Damage Inc. and GB Elite. We're teaming up. 50-50 war. Don't know the opponent. It's not going to be an arranged war. We're just going to roll the dice and see what we, what we run into, I guess. Uh, anyway, they're getting ready for it. We're getting ready for it. That's uh, really exciting for us. It's the first time we've ever done anything like that. Uh, they seem like they're really into it too, so this is going to be a pretty cool thing. We'll, I'll be sure to uh, have plenty of uh, coverage on it. <laughs> like I'm a news reporter. We're going to have coverage on Friday. Anyway. Oh yeah, the I've, I've been working on this all weekend. That's why no one's seen me. Uh, go check out the website. It's almost done. It's www.damageinkcoc.com It's got a full clash guide in it. And uh, what I mean full clash guide... Uh, and I'll just give you a little bit of background. Meanwhile, El, El Mino is attacking. Um, you can't see any of his any of his troops, but you'll watch him plow through the space. He, these guys are just unbelievable with their attacks. Uh, we'll get into the attacks a little more here in a second. Uh, anyway, back to the website. I've I've been building this website since uh, I started playing. We decided we wanted to make a clan website. It turned into a guide because we used to go to the wikia or the wikis and try to find information and it was always wrong so we decided we can do better my dumbass decided I can do better and it's taken me about two years <laughs> and I, I know the day I get done they're gonna update the whole game and they'll probably change every troop by like one one or two little things so I'll have to do the whole thing again thank you anyway back to the attacks um, first attack was from El Mino. Uh, he he's closing it up right now Last of the Laloons. They use the Laloons a lot. That you're gonna see a lot of bowler attacks in this video. They did. They did a bunch of bowler attacks. Um, the next, I've got another video already recorded. I finally got to get uh, Neon Knight. So you're coming, buddy. I got you on the next one. He he uh, just didn't happen to be on this. Uh, the, the first two wars that I was in, or that I recorded. Man, he can. He's a. Uh, he's a. He's a decent attacker, this Neo Knight guy. If you guys have ever heard of him, and uh, it looks like um, the little Fabricon that I have in the bottom corner, it's going, to <laughs> it's taking its time to uh, show up. I might have to, you you may not see it, but I'm seeing right now. But it's got about halfway there, not even, in the first two minutes of the video. Nice. Uh, so as you can see, I'm still learning how to do this stuff. I just learned how to put um, pictures in the side of the screen. So if, if you see some ridiculous pictures or this, this overkill of, of, of stuff, it's because I'm, I'm kind of testing it out. Okay, the next attack is, is by Karma. Had to take a little, short little break. I don't know if you can tell if you, when, I, when I leave and come and go by the actual sound of my voice. But I had to change the little, that little picture you see in the bottom left. Uh, so I fixed that. You're welcome. <laughs> Some of the things I do are ridiculous. Anyway, uh, Karma's attacking. Now, he, he does this max bowler attack, and he starts this attack exactly the same way as we start what we call the flex. Um, he starts off with two walks. They're both bowler walks, and he's, he's trying to get the bowlers to go around the outside of the base. Uh, he doesn't really want them to go inside the walls at all. Basically, what he'll do is he'll go around the outside on the top right and the bottom left with the bowlers and the, and the healer. The bowlers will take out everything on the outside of the base, and then and then actually get everything within several uh, tiles on the inside of the walls too. Meanwhile, he pushes a bunch of bowlers, his heroes, uh, clan castle troops, everything into the core of the base, jumps into the core, um, eliminates the clan castle troops, and by the time he gets to the back side of the base, I think he's got 10, 12 bowlers left. This is a total blow through. And now you'll notice he's got the warden. He's a town hall 11. And so you're not going to see a lot of Town Hall 10 on Town Hall 10s with these guys. Town Hall 11 on Town Hall 11s. Um, they do a lot of mismatch attacks. And it's just the way they have their clan set up. And I know that it may not be the most exciting thing. Sometimes people want to see the underdog. They want to see the Town Hall 9 jump up to the Town Hall 10 and take it out. But I want to give you a theory that I used to use a long time ago. I, I played pool for a living. I'll, anyone who knows me knows what I'm talking about. And I used to have people that would tell me that... I was lucky in that I never had a hard shot and that they never see me make any hard shots and I just know how to make all these easy shots. 
Well, that's true. I, you know, if you know how to play, you set yourself up to where you don't have any hard shots. They do the same thing in this game. They don't have a lot of really... They don't have to overcome a lot of really hard bases most of the time. Um, they, they do a lot of attacks on bases where they're, they're blowing them out of the water. And that's not a bad thing. That's, that's how they have their clan set up. That's how they, they're, they're just very, very consistent. And there's no reason to try to look good when you can be good. That's the saying that I used to use a long time ago. Uh, would you rather look good or be good? And I'd rather be good. I'd rather have my. I, I'd rather our clan do the same thing. I'd rather our top guys drop down five or six um, bases, and our town hall 11s attack the town hall of 10s, three star them all. Our town hall 10s jump down the town hall nines, three star them all. That's just a better way to win the clan wars. To to go a mirror attacking, the, the mirror attack is the standard. If you're an elite clan, you should be able to attack straight across from you, which is a mirror attack. That that looks great. Um, you know, it's when we have clans that are able to do that to us. And I'll tell you, we've been in about 200 wars, more, 250 wars. I think we've probably faced five or ten clans that could attack straight across and three stars one, and and all, and all this time. So it's not a common thing. The common thing is to drop down and three star below you. That's what's common. That's what these guys do so well. I'm not saying they can't. Uh, mirror attack and three star. It's not what I'm trying to say. I'm just saying that to be a smart attacker Look down below you now. I've managed to talk my way all the way through fat Pooh's attack I have to do that I guess in every video. Sorry there Pooh. <laughs> they have some awesome names. I don't know. I wouldn't be able to put fat Pooh down and, and uh, run around with it, but They do a pretty good job of it <laughs> Okay, this next attack is by Green Butt. He's gonna do a Town Hall 8 uh, Govaho, which in Town Hall 8, this is a great attack. The key in this attack is to take care of the Clan Castle troops. Because you don't have a ton of air shooting troops, you have to be very careful. And I say it's a Town Hall 8, I'm sorry, it's Town Hall 9 but on, on a Town Hall 8. <laughs> Uh, b brand new Town Hall 9. I think I think that's the level 1 queen. So, anyway, uh, go, go Vajo. Yeah, what you have to be careful of is you have to be careful of the Clan Castle troops. If you bring... Now, I this is an attack that I like to use myself a lot back when I was Town Hall nine, uh, 8 and 9. And what I found was I had got get myself in trouble by not pulling the Clan Castle troops out and getting them away from the defenses and, and killing the Clan Castle troops. If you don't do that... And you have four or five wizards because you have all this um, housing space with your Valkyries and with your hogs at the end. Um, then you'll end up, or you can end up, not killing the clan castle dragon. And then you have a dragon on your rear end the entire attack, which that's certain death. Uh, that no, n very rarely can you live through an attack with a dragon following you around the whole time. So, and and look how fast of an attack it is. I mean, these the, uh, the Gobajo is a very effective, very fast attack. Especially if you manage to keep the hog riders alive and he did he pushed through the base with the golem and the valkyries He, tr he triggered at least one giant bomb up, uh, with, with his kill squad and then by the time the hogs came in it was just a, a total blowout Now I believe the next two attacks are both going to be bowler attacks. This one right here is from uh, Bonk thunders, I believe this is a mini account I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure I know who this is. I, you know, you can kind of tell by some of the attacks who they are. I, I know in our clan we, we all have several um, accounts that we have to manage. Uh, I know of mine are from my kids. <laughs> I know that Creeper, for example, is the same thing. He's got four or five accounts because his kids will start an account and then not finish and then they'll take over. So, we're going to just leave it at that. I'm sure this is uh, a similar situation. You know you can't have two accounts, but your kids can have them, and you can take over. That's what we do. Anyway, the, another bowler attack, and this uh, this again is uh, a drop down type of attack. Now these are, uh, I believe he actually went up one spot to attack this town hall nine, and yes, that is the warden you see on on the base. So you can see how well that GB Elite has managed their um, their war weight. When you have the Warden going across the Town Hall 9 and you're attacking up, 
that means you've really managed to do a good job with your with your clan war wave. Um, now Supercell has eliminated most of the engineered clan problems and for those of you who don't know because I've made the mistake and that's actually how we met GB Elite is I made the mistake of calling them an engineered clan and I was pretty wrong but um, you'll see a lot of clans that are, are engineered and what that is is that they're Town Hall 8s or Town Hall 9s that have all the Town Hall 11 troops and what you'll find now is those clans are facing other clans that are exactly like them for the most part or they're facing clans like ours um, so they'll have you know they'll have Town Hall 11 troops but they have these Town Hall 9 bases and then they'll face our guys who have Town Hall 11 troops and Town Hall 11 bases so there's not really a too much competition um, so as far as the engineered clans they're still out there um, I, I think that practicing a smart upgrading process and keeping your war weight down as low as possible as you're pushing through each Town Hall level I think that's a smart thing to do but I don't think that we should really go ahead two or three town halls anymore. I think that that's going to be looked at more and more every update and it will be eliminated all the way soon. Now uh, also, last attack, Bendover. Uh, he's, he was featured in the last, last video too. Um, I can feature him in every single video we do from GB Elite because I think he, th he three stars every war that I've seen so far. And this might have been another six star war. So great attack. And there's, it's hard to choose these. Just for those of you that are in GP Elite watching, um, it's hard to choose who's, who I'm gonna, whose videos I'm going to play because there's, you know, the, they, you guys don't do the same attacks as we do. So I want to show different things. You guys all do different attacks than we do. Uh, I, I could have played 15 different attacks from this particular war. Um, that are, I, I like to play the overpowering blowout type of attacks because that's what I think people want to see. They want to see how how do, how are they getting these 350, 380 wins? Well, you're looking at it. You, you they they get these wins by overpowering their opponent with these with these drop down attacks and these really good really good tactics. So, end of another uh, attack. So looking forward, I've already got the next video recorded. I just have to do the actual commentating on it. And well, I'm going to try to stay in GB Elite until the war on Friday. I don't think that we'll have a problem with that. And I'm going to keep on, uh, I'm going to keep on playing these wars because they're, they're awesome. They're, these attacks are awesome. I think everyone can learn from these attacks. For those of you who are managing the clans, I think that there's uh, a lot to learn from the way they manage their, their wars too. Um, you may think that dropping down to attack every attack is a bad idea, but look at their record and then you tell me if it's a bad idea. If you want 350 or 380 wins, you might want to do what GB Elite does. Anyway, appreciate everyone for watching till the end. Uh, like the video if you like the video, got more coming just like it. Uh, sub to the channel if you haven't already. Appreciate everyone. Till next time, it's been easy.